Yeah, I think we pulled out the big guy. This is one of the more challenging uh, blockages that I've seen. Evidently roots growing into here, so I think we're going to move over. This is where I started out earlier. This whole area was covered in water. This is the top of the drain line. It's going down in that direction. And then in the corner, it changes direction and we have another rotting eye over here. The struggle today will start in this rotting eye. It goes into a junction and really thick roots growing into the mouth of that rotting eye and going that way and backwards. I followed the line around with the carbide teeth and just um, shaved all the excess muck off of the sides of the pipe all the way along to the end of the drain. Once I was done clearing this side of the line, which was full, 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 the water was not moving anywhere. I started working on this area. So we have about a meter, maybe a meter and a half of pipe going down into the junction where the line turns the corner and it is a nice open hole and then there's packed roots in this sand pipe that should be open for rotting, which is very good. But after about an hour, I gave up. I put three different cutting chains on the end of the miller and I really pushed that machine and I had to stop because I didn't want to burn it out. I cleared this water out maybe 45 minutes ago and it's just sitting there, it's not moving anywhere. So to avoid digging the drain up, what I would suggest is that we block this piece off with a, a fiberglass patch repair, close up that connection into the drain. Otherwise, after a few months, the, the roots are gonna be back filling up that pipe and it's just going to get worse and worse and if uh, those get any bigger it's going to start shifting the drain and we've got a big problem so to me that is a nice long-term pair and then clean up the rest of the line there's 15 meters of drain that could be brush coated as an extra precaution